Good morning. Hi. Want, do you want to go fishing with me today? Let's go. Anywho. That was kind of weird. I'm sorry. I'm really not all that creepy, but good morning. It is early, early, early in the morning. It's supposed to be 50 degrees today. And I also already went to this lake yesterday and uh, the edges weren't exactly the best. And uh, I fell in over my boots, but it wasn't that serious. It wasn't that dramatic. That was fine. So I'm gonna head out early while it's 20 degrees right now. And we're gonna be going after dirty old smallmouth bass. I got my underwater camera. We're gonna go for some underwater eats or just even catching anything in general, really. Smallmouth are actually kind of hard to catch through the ice. It seems like if you get above the right one that's really, really fired up, then you're okay. Other than that, they can kind of be hard to find and hard to get to bite. So we're gonna pop up the shack and uh, kind of just sit around and wait for them to swim by. So without further ado, I'm gonna quit yapping in my driveway and uh, get in my warm truck that isn't warm yet because I just started it as you saw. We'll get her warm though. We'll rev her on the way there. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, well, we got everything set up. I think we got what we're after down there. They're just not wanting to commit. The sun's starting to creep up over the uh, horizon. So hopefully that'll help me uh, see a little better with the aqua view, you know, so that might be wishful thinking. Yeah, I can see a little bit. Got a cinder block over there. Got a small mouth tail right there. Come on camera spin. There it is. Small mouth. Now we just gotta find our lure here. Oh, there's our lure. Got a bluegill under it, which we uh, don't want, but we can see we've got a confirmed smallmouth sighting and we uh, got cinder blocks. All right, camera's positioned good enough. We've got a boulder in the distance. And uh, yeah, we got a smallmouth right there. That's cool. Oh, oh, did you guys see that? That was badass. That was badass. Oh, look at that, guys. Oh, that was epic. He didn't eat it, but that was epic. Oh, there's one. <laughs> it almost looked like the same one. That was gnarly. I don't even care if we catch anything at this point. Seeing those things swimming by was badass. And the uh, camera clarity is only going to get better, so. We have not caught a fish yet, but we're about as well off as we can be without catching one. We uh, saw at least two smallmouth, if not three, uh, both look to be about three, three and a half pounds. Maybe a little bit bigger, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell how big the fish are in the aqua view because uh, even tiny bluegills look big sometimes, but we're set up in between two boulders, actually three boulders, and uh, it seems to be kind of a little highway for them to cruise along. We're on the side of a secondary point. Hopefully this is the buffet line for the biggins and we just have one swim through periodically. It seems like as of right now, we've had one swim through about every 10 minutes. We just need to get one to go. We might have to make some adjustments. Eventually we are gonna have to move and try a different spot. But as of right now, we're just gonna hang out here and wait and be patient, which is very hard for me. I never got diagnosed with ADHD, but I'd bet some money that I probably have it. We got some shad swimming through. I kind of want to reel up my camera so you can see them, but I saw a couple of them. Oh, and just like that. Oh, following the shad. Literally had a big ball of shad swim through, and then in comes Mr. Smalljaw. He's still close. I can see him on my fish finder. Oh, gosh. My heart can't handle this. I can't I keep having him swim in and then leaving. I have a damn heart attack. Literally like clockwork though. Shad, instant smallmouth. We might sit here all day. We are making this happen. Oh, here comes one. That wasn't a small one either. He's still in the background. I can see his weird shadow back there. Might have been the same fish, but I don't really think so. Some of them looked bigger than the others. There's a chance my camera's too close. It's about, I don't know, two feet away. I could 
probably move it a little bit farther away as the sun comes up, and I probably will, but for now, I want it as close as possible, because uh, we aren't necessarily here to knock their socks off and catch a billion of them. I just want to kind of see what they do underwater and what they look like and how they react to different stuff, and we've accomplished that already. But now we just need to find something that they want to uh, murder. Problem is, there's plenty of bait for them to eat that's real, so... Getting them to eat something fake might be a little bit of a challenge, but we're up for it. We are up for the damn challenge. He's shitting me as a little kitty. Let's pound it in the bottom, see if we can get the kitty. Oh, he touched it. <laughs> what are you doing, little bud? He nudged it on the bottom. Wasn't very big, but still cool. Why aren't you eating? What is wrong with you, smallmouth? They just aren't very bitey right now. He didn't even care. Maybe downsizing to this little jig isn't the best idea. I'm gonna switch baits again here in a second, but I mean, we're by them. We just might have the camera a little close. I'll get one. It's just a matter of when. Got one. Underwater camera was off, but got one. We'll worry about the underwater eats later. That thing came out of nowhere. Oh no, he's in the camera. He's in the camera. It ain't small either. <sighs> well, sorry about that guys, but... Switch to a uh, lipless crankbait. Hopefully he didn't pull my camera in. Switch to a rip and wrap, and he just came in and bulldozed it. I didn't even have time to turn my underwater camera on. <gasps> in look at that freaking thing <laughs> i'm so sorry i didn't get the underwater eat on that oh my gosh that's a freak that is a freak all right stash fam sorry the underwater camera wasn't on but we got one it just came in and plowed it i didn't even have time to react i uh, weighed it it weighs 3.90 pounds not a super giant but it is pretty damn big let's get it back Smallmouth are hardy, but we also love them. Quick release. Let's see if it locked. No, it didn't. Look at that. I even have a scale. You guys proud of me? Are you proud of me? You proud of me? If you're new here, I never have a scale. But anyway, switch to a uh, size four rip and wrap. And uh, I didn't even have time to react. I wasn't really paying attention, but. He just came in and ate it. So I'm not sure if the turning on or the bait switch made the difference, but uh, I'm still in the first spot. I haven't moved and we've seen like five and I just caught that one that was almost four pounds. So effing pow, 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 pow. Let's do it again, except with the underwater camera on. Pow. I wish you guys would have seen that. That was so magical. He just instantly swam in and chomped it. There's no question. I called it though. We we're just kind of waiting for the right one. We had a lot of fish swimming through, but that one was just, that one just had a different mood, you know? That one wanted to eat. The other ones were just kind of moseying around being lazy bastards, but that one, whew, he wanted it. Smallmouth cares more about the camera. back smallmouth he just cruised on past sucks watching him swim by but it's all information you can use to catch more fish and decide where to move next i think we need to hop over to that boulder maybe get on the back side of it no we aren't uh after catfish today but look at that <laughs> that is hilarious there's two of them and they're not interested in me at all don't even care Come on, Mr. Long Dong Kitty Cat. Oh, there's a smallmouth in the background. And they literally switched sides of the rock because my lipless was there. <laughs> That's some funny shit. That is some funny shit right there. Oh, he might have ate it just sitting there. Gorsh darn it. 
Thought that was gonna be the one. If you've ever fished for a smallmouth through the ice, you know they can be assholes. If you find the right one that's fired up though, you're in good shape, but most of them are just little jerks. How'd you miss it? How'd you miss it, bud? How did you miss it? Oh, there's another one. My drag's way too loose. Damn it. He came off. How did my drag get so loose? Oh, that's embarrassing. That thing hammered it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no! Why? Why did that happen? Two of them swam in and just freaking wanted to murder it. Oh shit! My heart is racing. <laughs> did you see that dude flying in? That was crazy. I screwed that. That was... I don't know what happened there. I don't know why my drag was so loose, but holy shit, that was crazy. Did you guys see how fast that thing came in? That one came in hot. Like hot, hot, hot. <sighs> Shaking. That was not a small one. That was not a small one. Damn it. <gasps> holy shit, that was crazy. That was crazy oh man all right well that was kind of embarrassing but in typical me fashion i'm gonna leave it in the video but that was hold on that was quite possibly some of the craziest crap i've ever seen it was, i think there was two different fish but i'm not really sure no idea but you could definitely tell that one was fired up i'm not sure if uh, that means most of them that swim through now are going to be fired up or if that was just one fish that was fired up but that thing was definitely pissed tried nipping at it like three or four different times and then it disappeared from the screen then it just came barreling in and smoked it and i don't know why i'm talking about it because you guys already saw it but i'm pretty stoked about it even though i screwed it up but feeling hopeful i think we got a shot at this i'm gonna keep at it and i don't think i'm gonna move it anytime soon so we're obviously in a good spot so just a waiting game now you guys want to wait with me Anyway, stay tuned. One just swam up and looked at my camera and literally ran into it. <laughs> they like want to eat the camera. They're not scared of the camera. They want to eat the damn thing. Come on, bud. Why is my camera moving? Come on, bud. He thought about it. Stinker. Little stinker. He see him open his mouth. He was like, blah, blah, blah. no. Stupid small mouth. I love you, but I hate your damn guts. Damn it. I literally moved over 10 feet, instantly marked a small mouth when I hadn't seen one for hours over there, so this should be a good move. Didn't move far. Got one. Good move. There's another one down there, too. Not a small one. For sure. It's actually very, very large. <clears throat> like, very large. 
<clears throat> yep, that's what we're after, folks. Kind of a slow start. I've seen some cool footage, but uh, that's a healthy one. Look at that guy. Gosh, there's another one down there, too. This is a good move. We need to get that underwater camera down there pronto. We also need to get this fish back down there pronto, but there's like two more waiting. If we doubled up right now, I'd shit my pants. All right, let's worry about this fish first. All right, well, if you watched the uh, last video that was similar to this, you'll know that uh, I'm kind of on a quest to catch a smallmouth on the underwater camera. I've seen a lot of them on the underwater camera. I've yet to catch one on the underwater camera though. 4.29 pounds, bigger than the one I caught in the last video. If you haven't watched the last video, watch it. Even though it wasn't a fish catching video, I did, uh... mm, that was a long reach. I did uh, get a lot of good footage, but four and a quarter. Biggin, freaking biggin. Pow, that's, that's better. Literally just moved over a tiny bit. There's another one down there. I'm gonna put this camera away. Let's catch a couple more. Next time, hopefully on the underwater camera. Underwater camera is set up. Hyperglide is down. Now we just gotta I'll wait for one to swim in, but look at the hyperglide. Thing's pretty badass. I know there's been videos made on him before, but look at that dude. He's got his little side flappers. Kind of just click around. We got another rock or a boulder or something down there on the drop off. But basically, just moved from 17 feet in the middle of three boulders down to uh, 19 feet in the middle of two boulders. It's uh, kind of midday now. It's noon, so I figured if I was going to move anywhere, it was going to be a little bit deeper and most of my fish were coming from the deep water. So that's one very, very helpful thing about the underwater cameras. You know where they're coming from. I do, most of the time, I do see them on my flasher first. So I'm keeping a closer eye on that because uh, the flasher has a cone angle that shoots down. So I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's probably about a, I don't know. I'm sure there's some math or some charts. Comment down below, but 19 foot. Tri-beam deucer on the Vexel RF L28. I believe it's about maybe a 10 foot circle down on the bottom that it's picking up. So you can uh, see a little bit better on the uh, flasher, or you can see first on the flasher. Sorry, I had a suspended fish. It also looks like I have a fish coming in on the bottom. I do. Is that a catfish? That's a small mouth. It's a damn giant. My bait's too close. Oh. Might have to move my underwater camera over. But this spot is going to be good. I bet that one would have ate if the underwater camera wasn't down there. That almost looks like a giant catfish. See that in the distance? That looks like a really big kitty. Alright, well, kitty's still sitting over there. Hopefully he gets a wild hair up his ass and swims over and eats my, uh, what's it called again? Hyperglide? Something like that. Last time I was here, I did the same thing. Found a catfish by one of the rocks, and I spent way too much time trying to catch him. This one looks much bigger, though. It almost looks like a damn flathead. I literally got my bait sitting right next to the catfish. Oh. Oh, that was cool. He like almost thought about eating it. All right, we're sitting here. Hopefully we can uh, catch more than one fish this time. Like I said, this is like, or I don't know if I even mentioned it. They're all kind of intertwining, all the videos, all the times I've been here. But uh, yeah, I've been here like five times and I've caught four fish, none of which were on the underwater camera. And I could set it up farther, but at this point, I'm bound and determined to keep it close, and just, it it needs to be close. It'll look so much better if it's close. Come on, bud. Oh, 
That is a big one. At least a long one. Wasn't very fired up though. <sighs> it seems like just nine out of 10 of them are just scared of the camera. And then the other one bites the camera. It doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna have to give up on today pretty soon just for my mental state. Moved in between my two spots. I found our kitty. It actually is a flathead. <sighs> yep. Flathead for sure. That's crazy. There's a freaking flathead. Everybody is sitting on him. He left. It was a long shot, but figured we'd at least try. Try to dangle some wax worms in front of him and see if we couldn't piss him off. But we pissed him off just in the wrong way because he's gone. Dang it. All right, small mouth. You win again. Mm, small mouth are jerks. Actually, they're not. They're one of my favorite fish to catch like ever besides flathead. That's why I've been messing with a flathead for the past hour. Finally scared him off though, he swam back into the deep. I annoyed him enough, but not enough to bite. But anyway, this uh, really hasn't been going as planned, so I'm gonna probably make one more video on this subject, on the underwater smallmouth camera, underwater camera smallmouth subject. And uh, if I do make one more, I promise you I catch one on the camera while it's recording. I promise. Anytime I come here, I'm not expecting to catch a lot, but uh, the water is clear and the fish are pretty big, so. It excites me. Hopefully it excites you. Hopefully you guys liked this video. Hopefully you guys liked the last video if there was one. And hopefully you guys liked the next one. If there is a next one. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And uh, I gotta pack all this stuff up. Go home. And then I'm going fishing with Boo. For about a day and a half. Not in a row. Kind of split up. But it should be fun. Boo hasn't fished in a while. And uh, yeah. I'm leaving. I'm gonna go pick up Boo. And we're gonna go fishing. We will see you guys. Uh, see you guys next time. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye. Pow.